Hi, I'm Carla Pierce, and in this episode, we are joined by artist Rochelle Collins, and we are at the Kamloops Wildlife Park. We're going to check out some animals and maybe paint some birds. The BC Wildlife Park facilitates an environment where people can connect with animals within a healthy, natural environment. Uh, today is my first try painting outside. It's uh, a bit of a different uh, experience for me because I've I'm used to trying to paint off of a picture, either in print or on my camera, and uh, today was a real experience trying to meld what I see with what I'm trying to create on the canvas. It was it was a, an interesting experience as well as working with the paints in a in an unusual temperature setting, where you know, they don't dry as quickly as you think, and so that was a, it's an interesting experience trying to get that figure out how to create what I'm trying to create. Well, I think that the animals that really capture my attention um, are the ones with expressive faces. Uh, so the bear was was one, but he didn't. He doesn't stay still long enough to be able to paint. So when we were looking at the birds of prey, uh, I really enjoyed looking at uh, the owls, and we found some perfect subjects that uh, stood and and stayed in one place, so that uh, I didn't have to paint from memory. I can I can paint from what I'm seeing, and the expression on the face is definitely definitely what captures me. One of the, the styles of painting that really captures me is the thick uh, impasto style of painting. I first noticed that in other people's artwork and um, I, when I first was starting to paint, I used brushes in, with a thick paint application and then I was introduced to using the palette knives. And So I really enjoy being able to take the different palette knives and being able to lay on the paint in thick um, brush strokes and paint strokes and um, being able to get almost a 3D kind of effect to it. It's, it's definitely a different approach to painting, but one that I really enjoy. One of the things that I love so much about painting is that it's not a, an intellectual experience for me. I rarely know what it's going to look like when I start out and it's definitely about how it feels. So today it feels like I need to start with blue and, mag and magenta as a background and, uh, and I just go from there. And so I, I know that the, the bird is going to have some white in it so I, I start with that and then just I go with the feeling of it. It's a very uh, subjective, expressive, not an intellectual experience, which is very different for me. I, I have come from a, a more of an intellectual background, you know, science-based, and you make decisions. And this is much more about how it feels, and it's it's freeing, it's liberating.
painting for me has been uh, a wonderful release. It's something that I discovered uh, a year ago that uh, really feeds a different part of my soul. It's been therapeutic for me. It uh, allows me to focus when focusing is sometimes hard. It's a distraction and it really allows um, uh, me to connect with, a di with the world in a very different way, see the beauty from a different angle. Um, not just walk blindly through it, but to, to engage with it and to, to capture it. These animals are not hostages. All of the animals have been rescued from life-threatening injuries and have found new homes within the park. They have healthy and protected lives in their habitats. As they would not survive on their own in their wild, it is the perfect solution where human compassion interconnects with nature. Well, I've always thought that the owls are mysterious, you don't see them very often. They're uh, usually solitary and yet wise and peaceful. And I think that's what I really captured today was the, the solitary wisdom sitting there, observing everything, taking it all in and, and just beautiful animals. You know, I still feel like I'm in the exploratory phase, like I'm really trying to understand both the mechanics of painting and the, the beauty and inspiration of it. So I don't really know where it's going to take me. I, want, I would like to explore different animals, different settings, um, and I would really like to explore more of the uh, abstract, not just tra trying to paint true to form, um, but taking the interpretive part of it and the expressive part of it um, and seeing where that goes. Well, I think that particular bird, I'll name her Ruby, <laughs> um, she, uh, she was very peaceful and that I think was something that I really wanted to capture was the, the peacefulness sitting on the, the tree branch, uh, taking everything in. And when I thought about how to paint her, I didn't want to go with realistic uh, colors, so I did choose to go with the white and then I brought through the Ruby, uh, the, the magenta color as the accent color instead of the, the true to color browns and grays. Interestingly enough, um, I did not notice the physical discomforts of temperature um, because I was so involved in the painting process and enjoying the environment that I did not think about um, the fact that it was six degrees out and cold. Um, I think being able to be immersed in the environment as opposed to trying to uh, paint in, in, in my living room, for example, with all the distractions that are not painting related. Being able to paint within the environment uh, was a real gift, a real treat. Yeah, I, th I think for me, uh, wildlife uh, in general is, I have a, a great affinity for the beauty within wildlife and birds, owls in particular, are, have such freedom about them. They can fly wherever they want and uh, I don't know, she, she really drew me in. She was sitting there watching and, and I looked at a bunch of different owls and I looked at the eagles and there was something about Ruby that uh, spoke to me. It's an interesting thought to be able to imagine myself as a bird flying around and trying to capture that. I, I remember when I was young, I would often have dreams of flying and looking down and I think that would be a very interesting experiment to uh, paint from, not from the, the ground looking at things sideways, but from up above and, and c capturing the, the soaring of, of flight and the, the angle of the sun and the wind. I think that would be very interesting. I don't know that I'm there yet, but... <laughs> a absolutely. Painting for me is freedom. And it's, uh, it's freedom to uh, find within myself and express uh, what's within and, and try different things without judgment. Uh, definitely art uh, for me. And it's a, it's a new discovery. 
Um, the painting is, is definitely a form of freedom for me. So I come from I come from a nursing background, so a science-based nursing background, and you know a lot of that you do make some the the art of nursing, um, but a lot of it is based upon critical thinking and judgment, and and you you know trying to make the best decision possible, and this just allows all of that to melt away, and all of the worries of the of life outside of painting to melt away, and for the moment I'm just there with the paints and and feeling it and. Uh, Sometimes I'll get to the end of the painting um, and I'll go, wow, how did that happen? And I'll actually study it for like a couple hours and go, I did that? Really? <laughs> How'd that happen? <laughs> it's, it's, it's wonderful. I, I, I'm very glad to have found painting and I wish that everybody could have this kind of experience in one form or another. What we see here is just a glimpse to what surrounds us in the wild at all times. It is always a joy to see, feel, and be inspired by the living beauty of nature and her creations. For 50 years now, the BC Wildlife Park has been creating positive emotional connections to wildlife within our communities. I'm Carla Pierce, and thanks for watching.